a van life again. Another red eye in Daytona. Having to wait here at the airport for just a little bit extra longer, waiting for one of the mechanics, Matt, to show up. I gotta pick him up. And then we'll head over to the Speedway, get the stuff ready. Uh, one of our riders, Justin Starling, being that he's basically from Daytona, the town next to D-Land. He's on press duty today, so he's running around doing some stuff for them. He'll get on track here in a little bit, so we'll be able to get some kind of a little early look at the track today with him, get to learn a little bit about it. Uh, it's definitely really different this year. It's like more old school Daytona, uh, a lot more spread out sections, a lot less jumps, a lot more sand. Uh, should be a little more outdoorish like it used to be. But yeah, just another red eye. And we're gonna have a couple more in the next couple of East races. And ah, here's my missing guy. What up? Up higher, up higher. thunderstorm that came through last night and cooled everything way off so it's only supposed to be like high of 65 tomorrow wow they it doesn't are seem right that they parked this late <clears throat> this is late parking wow yeah. after Honda. So, fun part about Daytona, we get to use the NASCAR garages. This is exactly how the NASCAR teams come in and park and all the rounds that are well set up like this. They basically park angled and they load all their stuff. They don't use awnings or any of the canopy stuff like you see in moto. They just pull in, they get their trucks parked angled and they unload and go straight into their garage spaces for the weekend. So, it's a little bit different. I personally quite like it and it's one of the reasons I kind of wish we had more NASCAR venues on the circuit just because the difference in the track layout the pit layout's kind of cool I don't know just something about it kind of screams professionalism I mean for what NASCAR is and how big it is it's, it's a little bit cool to emulate it every once in a while but, but on the other end <laughs> I feel bad for the team guys trying to get in here and get parked is a little bit interesting
Yeah, have you been practicing your TT skills? Yeah, this is kind of strange. Yeah, have you watched, just watch Sipes from Daytona. It's basically a flat track TT jump. Really? Yeah. Oh, this whole thing is strange. I'm scared of the hay bale. <laughs> really... Just turn the clickers a little. Just a little softer. Yeah, it's for real. <laughs> Huh. It's so spread out. Can I make a video one day of me just running and barrel rolling? Like, oh like, my god, that'd be so, that'd be so funny. funny. I mean, Extreme. Like, imagine if I did a video like I'm like Henry and I take my job seriously. <laughs> See, Geico, 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 not Geico. We're on par. On par. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> We're leveling up. <laughs> I don't just live 10 minutes down the road. That's we'll nothing to do with that at all. <laughs> that had nothing to do with it at all. Nothing to do with that at all. Nothing to do with it. You didn't have a key to get in this morning. Yeah, I don't have a key to get in but... No, of course not. Ski jump. Don't be a hero on the ski jump. No. Don't be a hero. I'm seriously, I'm worried about the wind. I'm pushing a tough block right here. We land on it. We come over this thing, fifth gear tap. And way more narrow on the other what side. What are you talking about? I put a sixth gear in there this weekend. Oh, they are going to be hanging off the back. <laughs> not, not on this bike. This, this bike is super fast. Got my retro hat. I need some fancy wisdom, Truman. Don't pick who I pick. But if you want to play for 150 bucks, we're having a side second chance industry idiots money league starting at Daytona from Daytona to Salt Lake City. So if you want to, uh, if you want to gamble a little bit, is, it, is that is that the whole thing? The series always starts at Daytona. Yep, yep, BS. We're starting one. Oh God, I might have to throw in my 150.
of it. Everybody kind of sets up their little banners up front, has their little autograph area, keep the bikes inside. Everybody gets to line up the haulers. It's kind of cool for the fans to wander through because I think they can get a little closer to the trucks than normal because there's nothing really work-wise going on around them. And we can get right up in person with all the bikes and all the garage areas and everything else. This is our little home for the weekend. We've got two bays. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna take that home. Look at that. Daytona hooked us up like the big boy teams. We have two garages. Usually that's kind of something reserved for the factory teams. Kind of stoked on that. There's plenty of guys in single garage life, but... Got two. 